Today I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step Ubuntu Unity software installation for the Latte Panda with a patched 412 kernel. Everything that the Latte Panda has on the board will function, including wireless and Bluetooth. These instructions only apply to the 64.4 version of the Latte Panda. You will need to have the Panda connected to a wired internet connection. Note that the following installation wipes the Panda completely prior to the Linux installation. This is definitely not what you want to do for dual booting with Windows. Please note your initially installed base kernel must be lower than 412. I'm using the 16.04.0 version, but newer versions of Ubuntu Unity based software should work as long as not use a newer base kernel. I've never been able to get the other flavors of Ubuntu to work due to notification and menu issues. The first step is to download the 16.04.0 version of Ubuntu from the site using this link. This version uses the 4.4.0-112 kernel. Next you need to create a bootable USB flash drive using a unit of at least 2 gigabytes in size. I used uh, UNET Bootin for mine. Boot Ubuntu from the USB installation and choose to install from the graphics environment. Extra important note right here. Do not install updates or third-party software as suggested during the installation. It will corrupt the installation and cause it to fail. Select Erase Disk and install Ubuntu. Enter your username, computer name, and password as so instructed. After the installation completes, you're going to want to reboot. It's probably going to hang, so you're probably just going to need to use a power switch to turn the computer off. Make sure you have a micro flash card in the reader and the reader is working. If you're having troubles, you'll want to check out this link. After you back up, you'll want to open a terminal window and become a super user. Go to this site and download the appropriate 412 kernel for your processor. Most of us are going to have a Z8300. Please note this is a multi-part download. Change your working directory to downloads and recombine the files using the cat command as indicated. Once the cat command finishes, you want to use the ls command to verify the full kernel is ready. I'd recommend you keep the downloaded files as well as the complete kernel on your flash drive or on a USB drive until you're up and running. Install your 412 kernel using this command. You can ignore the missing firmware warnings. After it completes, reboot and it's probably going to hang again so you need to use a power switch. After you're back up and running, do a uname minus R and make sure that 412 kernel is up and running now. Now it's time to install the upgrades and the updates. Become super user again and do an apt get upgrade. There's over 400 upgrades that are going to install, so you can take a pretty long coffee break while this is going on. Once again, you can ignore the missing firmware warnings. After everything completes, you can reboot, and it should not hang this time. Once you come back up, open a terminal, become a super user. Change your working directory to etc. default, then do a gedit on grub. Put a hashtag in front of the grub hidden timeout equals zero. Save it, X out of it, then do an update grub. Open the networking icon in the upper right. Enter the password for your wireless network. If you have a Bluetooth device, click on the Bluetooth icon. Turn visible on, turn Bluetooth on. Click Bluetooth settings. After that completes, I'd go to Settings, Displays, Unknown Display, then turn off the un Unknown Display. Under Launcher Placement, click your Main Monitor. Under Scale All Windows, click your Main Monitor. Click Apply. Click Keep This Configuration. X out. And this will allow you to have desktop files visible. If you want to use Bluetooth, I'd go to Terminal, become Super User again, then do an app get update, an app get install Blue Man, and then an app get install VLC. 
I found out VLC must be installed for some internet videos to work. Apparently there's a missing video component that must be present for some of those sites. Yours should be bought up and running. This covers all the basics. Please take special note that this is a patch kernel and it's not the current most updated kernel. It probably does not include any fixes for Spectre or Meltdown. Also take note that any newer non-patch kernels will likely render the audio, video, wireless, and Bluetooth inoperative. Having said that, it's probably wise to monitor the kernel site for any newer kernels that might come out that do have the patches. That wraps her up, baby. If you're liking what you're seeing, uh, give me a like and consider subscribing. I just might have something else coming down the pike here real soon you're going to be interested in. Take care, man. Have a great day.